We're uh, in the gym with the big Bertha. Um, these two guys have uh, started working on a pretty crazy plane here. Why don't you guys go ahead and talk about it first? Um, so we bought the foam board from Hobby Hobby. It's about five feet long. Yeah, it's a little less than five feet long. How long is the wingspan? Um, it's a two. It's a four foot wingspan. So, yeah, it's crazy long. It's um. And we just wanted to build a cargo plane, so we have a cargo bay area open here, and we're gonna add stuff onto that to make it work. So yeah. the, the goal is to um, is to create the bomb bay, right? Yeah. And the ultimate goal is we have this like PE fun day that we have at the end of the year. So we want to be able to get it to where we can house the water balloon and drop it off as the kids are doing their fun day. <laughs> So, the motor setup, um, these guys are going to put the same motor that's used on the, um, on the uh, Viking and Stingray, right here in the back. Um, they've got their two big old 24 gram servos uh, back here. And um, like I said, they've got a lot of room to work with. They did a great job. So, uh, well now it's just about doing some glide tests. You guys ready? So what we try to do in our glide test is just kind of throw the, the plane close range. Um, without any washers, just to kind of see what the plane will do, and we'll just kind of go from there. Back it up a little bit. Still wants to tail a little bit, so we'll go ahead and we'll put some um, washers in the front and do another test. We got about four more washers up front. We'll see where this takes us. So still wanting to tail big time. I'll try throwing it a little bit farther back on the plane. Bertha is officially, uh, I think, CG'd out. I think obviously once we start doing, hey guys, come over here. I think once we start actually getting the plan up in the air, we'll have to, you know, obviously make adjustments. But you know, it's uh, has some good glide to it for how big it is, and it's structurally, you know, sound where these guys were catching it and, and being able to be pretty rough with it. Um, they've got this, uh, you know, the the wing can come off, and it's you know just in case something happens, so it's. And they'll be able to preserve their, their plane, so they're doing a good job, man. This is taking them a couple weeks to build, and I think they're getting close to actually getting the rest on and spray painting it, and hopefully be able to drop that water balloon. Cool. Finish it up. Okay, so we're in here looking at... Wait, it looks like we're stable on there. So we're still, the thing that bothers me is that we're still pretty far back on the cord. And so we might 
um, you know, with it being a pusher prop plane, um, I think that from what we learned in the past, that it might be okay. So we'll just kind of take it by yeah, This thing's gonna have landing gear anyways, so we'll just go with that. We're making a dot right at the uh, center of the dowel. So this is how we go about doing our CGs of our plane. Um, once they kinda, the kids get a design and we get the washers up front, we get it all tested out, we'll put it on some dowels and, and we'll go from there. And sometimes, you know, even by doing this, it still doesn't guarantee that we're going to nail it around the you know, money, but it, it does help out. So, other than that, you guys are good. Cool. Stay tuned with these guys. They're going to have a pretty cool plane coming for them. Big Bertha. Officially, uh, I think CG'd out. I think obviously once we start doing, hey you guys, come over here. I think once we start actually getting the plane up in the air, we'll have to, you know, obviously make adjustments. But you know, it's uh, has some good glide to it for how big it is, and it's structurally, you know, sound. These guys were catching the you know, unit was be pretty rough with it. Um, they've got this, uh, you know, the the wing can come off, and it's, you know, just in case something happens, so it's. To be able to preserve their, their plane, so they're doing a good job, man. This is taking them a couple weeks to build, and I think they're getting close to actually get the rest on and spray the engine. Hopefully, be able to drop that water machine. 